Open star clusters have been known for thousands of years. Their shapes became part of folklore and mythology, and still today, you can see several of these bodies with your unaided eyes. Welcome to this worldwide telescope tour of naked eye open star clusters. Although some of these are brighter than the others, all you'll need is a clear dark sky to identify these stellar gems. Our first stop will be with the most famous open cluster, the Pleiades. Also known as M45 and the Seven Sisters, the Pleiades is located in Taurus the Bull. The cluster ranks as one of the greatest objects in the sky because it presents challenges to all observers, whatever their equipment or experience. To locate M45, look about 10 degrees northwest of Aldebaran, the brightest star of Taurus. In Arabic, the star name means the follower. How appropriate because it pursues the Pleiades in its nightly progression. The Pleiades' name comes from Greek mythology, referring to the daughters of the Titan Atlas and the sea nymph Pleione. The open cluster is a prominent site in the winter of the northern hemisphere and in the southern hemisphere's summer. Most naked eye observers can count four, five, or even six stars arranged in the shape of a dipper. Slightly darker skies will reveal a seventh star, which permits the group to live up to its nickname, the Seven Sisters. You won't have to venture far for the next cluster. It's even closer to Aldebaran than M45. Taurus's alpha star marks the bullseye, but the rest of its head is outlined by a V-shaped pattern of fainter stars known as the Hyades. Five members of this group are visible to the naked eye. In Greek mythology, the Hyades are sisters, the daughters of Ethra and Atlas, and half-sisters to the Pleiades. In 750 BC, the Greek poet Homer mentions the Hyades in his Iliad about the Trojan War. When looking at this region, don't forget that Aldebaran isn't a member. In fact, it's in the foreground. It rests about 60 light years closer to us than the Hyades, which are about 150 light years away. If you'd like to learn more about the Pleiades, the Hyades, and other objects you can find in the bowl, be sure to visit senior editor Michael Bakich's podcast at astronomy.com slash Taurus. The next target will test the limit of your ability to see with the naked eye. Located nearly 2,800 light years away in the constellation Gemini the Twins, this object was listed by Charles Messier in his famous catalog in 1764. To locate M35, look for a small hazy patch nearly 2 degrees above Castor's right foot. The tip of this twin's foot is marked by the star Eta Geminorum. If you are wondering about that sparkling neighbor of M35, that's open cluster NGC 2158. Don't attempt to spy this object with your naked eye, as it shines at magnitude 8.6. If you hope to break this condensed cluster into individual stars, you'll need to observe it with a large scope with high magnification. For a quick resource on M35, M45, and other Messier objects, check out the Messier catalog PDF in our community options. Our next destination will feature not one, but two clusters in a compact region located just southeast of Cassiopeia the Queen, in the constellation Perseus the Hero. Made up of NGC 869 and 884, the double cluster has been known since antiquity, and this duo still delights amateur astronomers today. You can see these with the naked eye, but binoculars or a small telescope will reveal richer detail. These clusters are more than 7,000 light years from us, but are separated from each other by only a few hundred light years. Our final cluster resides in the faint constellation Cancer the Crab. Although this beauty had been known about for thousands of years, it was Galileo's observations with a telescope in 1609 that revealed this object is actually more than a nebulous body. It is a cluster swarming with stars. The Beehive Cluster, also called M44, is visible to the naked eye as a patch of light midway between Gemini's Pollux and Castor and the sickle asterism of Leo the Lion. M44 covers an area of the sky wider than the moon's disk. It is best observed when cancer is high in the sky. And with that, we'll wrap up this survey of naked eye star clusters. Be sure to visit our community section often as we will continue to develop new tours using the Worldwide Telescope. Until next time, thanks for watching.